we are continuing with the equations of the straight line here the question is if the lines 2x minus by plus 5 equal to 0 and ax plus 3y equal to 2 are parallel find the relation connecting a and b right now these two lines are given parallel so obviously their slopes will be equal so let's write these equations we have 2x minus by plus 5 equal to 0 and another is ax plus 3y equal to 2 right so let's convert this into the standard form so as to calculate the slope so this will become 2x plus 5 this by we will shift here then we will have y as 2 upon bx plus 5 upon b what is the coefficient of x that is the slope so here m1 is equal to 2 upon b let's leave it here let's come here so we have here 3y is equal to minus ax plus 2 we have shifted this ax to this side so my y will become minus a upon 3 into x plus 2 upon 3 so what is my m2 here minus a upon 3 right now he is saying that lines are parallel Therefore, you can say that m1 is equal to m2, then slopes are equal. So, does that mean 2 by b is equal to minus a upon 3? So, if you cross multiply, you will get minus ab equal to 6 or your ab is equal to minus 6. That's what he wanted us to find. He wanted us to find the relation connecting a and b. So, the product of a and b is minus 6. Alright, now next one. In the next question, we have to prove that the line through this is perpendicular to the line through this. Now we know that the two lines are parallel only when, when the product of their slopes is minus 1. Right? So does that mean we have to find the slope of this line? Then the slope of this line and uh, uh, multiply them. If the product is minus 1, they are perpendicular so let's do that so we have point a as minus 2 and 6 then we have point b as 4 and 8 similarly here we have c 8 and 12 and d 4 and 24 right so let's find the slope of a b so slope of a b will be when two points are given how do we calculate the slope? This is x2, y2. We calculate the slope as y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So we have all the values. Let's substitute. y2 is 8 minus 6, 4 minus of minus 2. So that gives me 2 upon 4 plus 2 is 6. 2 1s are 2 3s are. So 1 by 3. So I got the slope of AB as 1 upon 3. Now let me calculate the slope of CD. For that this is x1, this is y1, this is x2, this is y2. Therefore slope of CD will be y2 minus y1 upon x2 minus x1. So y2 is 24 minus 12 upon x2 is 4 minus 8 which is 12 upon minus 4. So, 4, 3 is a, so it is minus 3. So, this is your slope of CD. Now, the lines are perpendicular only. So, you can say that the lines AB and CD are perpendicular when If the product of their slopes is 1, minus 1, product of their slopes is minus 1. So, let's name this as M1 and this slope as M2. Now, let's multiply M1 and M2 to check whether we are getting minus 1 or not. 1 by 3 into minus 3 is equal to minus 1. 
therefore the lines are perpendicular to each other right okay